You are at a beautiful place, but it can also be really frightening. Antarctica is a huge continent, covered with ice. It is, so to speak, a desert. Antarctica is unfamiliar and dangerous, but there you are. You are in a completely unusual situation. We are using the Garzo Higgins ground station for our Earth observation missions. We record data from satellites. Modern Earth observation satellites, like our TerraSAR X and Tandem X, fly past the poles in polar orbits. There, the distances between orbits are very small, so we can have frequent contact with the satellites. That means that we can frequently record data from them and also send commands up. All of that has to take place in an extremely critical and difficult environment. It's more like an expedition. We're about 14,000 kilometers from Germany. We have to fly from Germany to South America. That's a routine trip. But from Punto Arenas, that's the gate to Antarctica. We need special flights to get to Antarctica. The logistic the logistics are complicated because the weather is complicated. The conditions are harsh. If you have bad luck, you can be held up for two weeks while you wait for flying weather. Finally here is probably what most people are thinking as they leave the aircraft or arrive at the glacier. And you think, OK, that part is over, we can get to work. The antenna at O'Higgins is a customized construction. It is unique. There is no other one like it anywhere. Because of the environmental conditions here in Antarctica, we had to come up with a special design. The antenna had to be built on a massive cement foundation, and it has to survive extreme wind loads. We have storms here with wind speeds over 300 km per hour. We have one antenna and it has to function. When we have planned a data acquisition, the first thing we do is check all the equipment to see if it's running normally. The antenna is positioned and waits for the satellite to arrive. As soon as the satellite is in view, it is tracked by the antenna. Two motors are used for each axis. The two motors are braced against each other to prevent play and so that the antenna can function very precisely. The data are acquired and signals or commands are sent to the satellite. After the passage, the data on the satellite are deleted. If we have acquired them correctly, great. If not, the data is lost. That's not supposed to happen because they are valuable and irretrievable. But once in a while equipment does break down or there are problems requiring someone to go to the antenna immediately. You have to be able to help yourself. You can't call a service number if some technical problem arises. It has happened to all of us. Right before a satellite pass, the antenna gets stuck. It just doesn't move. Then someone has to run to the antenna to reboot the system on the spot and then trigger it so that it responds. Wenn du vor Ort bist, 
In that situation, you must act instinctively, because there is no time for anything else. You have to make decisions at great speed, and situations can quickly turn into big risks. Despite the harsh environmental conditions, the reliability of our data acquisition is over 99%. We have to do everything ourselves at the station. We do all the cooking and all the cleaning. Nevertheless, we also feel safe and comfortable at the station. It's almost like being at home. It is somewhat like being at home, but being at work at the same time. Everything is concentrated at one place. Since we are on an island, we cannot easily get away. A trip to the supermarket, the cinema or the restaurant gets complicated. It's not like being home in Germany where you can just go for a walk. You move within a radius of only a few hundred meters. Month after month you're confined to one location. For me, the worst thing is not being at home. You have to accept that if anything happens to your family, your wife, your child, you cannot be there. If anything does happen, you need at least a week to get home. You have to deal with that risk. That's the hardest part. But in an emergency, people will always help you, no matter what happens. Without our partners, our Chilean partners, our Brazilian partners, without all the people on the job in South America, it would be impossible to do anything. Over the years, a friendly cooperation has developed. We are all in the same boat. And we all work together. Here in that place, it's really not important what's written in your passports. You're happy to be with the people there no matter what nation or continent they come from. The data we acquire at Garzo Higgins are essential for our research to better understand changes on Earth. We transport the records to our data centers, where we systematically analyze them a few weeks later. We incorporate the results in models, produce time series, and use them to monitor developments on our planet. These developments are clues to global change. When you are in Antarctica, you know that it's a privilege to be there, but at the same time you realize that it is an extremely fragile continent and that we have to take care of it. That's what our data is for. <laughs> 